Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I am going to be talking about Stone Coat countertop resin versus art resin. Now, I didn't know that they had a separate art resin when I had purchased online. Um, so I'm actually just using their normal one. So I'm not going to do the sun exposure experiment for this one, but the art resin that they sell is like advanced UV and stuff. So that way it is going to be very, very comparable when it comes to holding up in the sun against art resin. And I'll definitely show you guys that once I get that in. Now, definitely check this out though, because I loved the whole experiment and I'll tell you all about it. The geodes look different because by the time I was done with the first one, I realized my mistakes and I fixed those for the second one. So the second one looks really awesome. They'll both look good, but, <laughs> but y'all will see. And then if you guys love it as much as me, definitely check in the description below because I have a huge discount to be able to offer all of my fans and followers who watch this video. So let's get to it. All right. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm actually working with the stone coat first and it is the exact same. It's a one-to-one -one measurement, just like art resin. So I'm just squeezing it in there. The one thing that I noticed that is different than art resin is, um, it's a little bit thicker and the art resin is extremely runny in comparison so that was the only difference here and then it only had a slight smell when I first opened it and then it went away I did not smell anything or have any issues after that um, whereas the art resin kind of continues to have a sweet smell for me I know it, for everyone it seems different but for me it has a very sweet smell and um, that never really goes away for me. But with Stone Coat, it went away. And that was really cool. The uh, Once you're done mixing, just make sure that you are pouring it in the cup and scraping the sides and the bottom with a popsicle stick before you mix it together. And um, it's the same thing. You want to mix it as much as possible um, before you're trying to pour anything. I want to say I had about a third of a cup in each of these and um, I don't really measure honestly I just make sure that it's equal in both cups because it's a one-to-one -one measurement so it doesn't have to be perfect I don't have to waste any measuring cups this way and then these are all the cups that I'm trying to go through that I've used that had like dried resin on them and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the mixing and let's get ready towards the pour Okay, so now we are on to the mixing with our colors and pigments. Now I am using the liquid acrylic and you wanna follow that same rule, which is one to 10 and they're from Dollar Rowney. The pink and the white are my colors of choice here. And so just make sure you're following that one to 10 ratio and mix them up really good. All right, so now that they're mixed up, I'm gonna start by pouring the white in the middle and just frame that with my next color. Something to keep in mind when you're creating geodes is have thick lines of just color, not all glitter and not all texture. So this way you can decide if it's enough or if you wanna add lines later. I actually did decide on this red one that I am gonna add lines later. I wish I would've kept it as a circle and I did notice that by the time I got to my next geode. Uh, but this one, I mean, it still turned out pretty cool. It's like a diamond on a uh, circle so it still looks neat but just start with your center and then build out from there all right so now that I've framed my center with the solid color I'm going to add texture these are just the mosaic fillers that's what they're called mosaic fillers that I got from Hobby Lobby and it's a reddish color and I did find some that are pretty similar. So they are on my Amazon shop. You guys can check those out. And I just pour it right on that outside corner. This was a great tip that I got from Mrs. Colorberry. She says to do it as you're building out because if you're doing it at the end, you're gonna push all that resin outwards and it's not going to form properly on your texture anyways. So that's just something really good to keep in mind um is to go ahead and add that texture as you are putting all of this together and then i just sort of used my gloves to push that texture in and then um, i will be adding my next color which is white um i kind of decide to get rid of some of that white though later and so you guys will see that but just keep building out all 
All right, now here shows the huge importance of having a leveled surface. This side of the table, no matter what I did, I could not get it level. So if you notice that white middle, it is running off. <laughs> I'm so sad it's doing that. So what I decided to do was take my glove and I'm just sort of mixing that white into the really pretty pink that's there. And I was really bummed I had to do this, but it actually turned out to be really, really cool. So just, you know, other options for you guys when you're building your geodes. Don't be afraid to screw it up <laughs> because you're going to find something that is unique and different about yours compared to everyone else's. And I decided to add the confetti glitter. That's what that's called. And I got it at Walmart, confetti glitter. And I added that right over top this entire middle piece. And then I add the crushed marbles to the very center. All right, and again, we are building out with the color. So could you all imagine if this would not have pushed off because of my unlevel surface, <laughs> how cool it would have been. And then what I'm doing with my glove is I'm pushing all of this color out to the side. Notice that I'm not worried about it being nice and thick. I'm just worried about it being a little tacky so that way when I pour my texture over top of it, the texture will sit there, it'll stay. Oh man, notice that white is growing even bigger, going off the side. Oh, I hate unlevel surfaces. <laughs> All right, rant over. I'm sorry. So make sure that when you're adding that texture, though, I did learn a really awesome tip, and that's to fold a corner of your plastic cup, or if you're using silicone, then even better. And that way it pours out quite nicely. So I'm squeezing it down at the bottom there to allow the texture to come out nicely. And then I'm just building it along my edge. All right, now here is where I, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I put marble, crushed marbles in the middle. Um, if you guys have not seen that video, I'll go ahead and link it up in the top right. But I want you to notice something because I'm going to sp speed through the rest of it. Um, I'm adding some more white just to make it thicker. Now you're really going to be able to see this. Once I add that crushed marble, watch how everything moves because of my unlevel surface and how it just pushes that resin outwards. So this is what me and Mrs. Uh, or Mrs. Colorberry and I uh, were talking about is it will push everything outwards because you're putting something that's very thick in there. Okay. So for all you beginners, make sure you guys are building that texture as you go. I didn't really have a good idea of what I wanted this geode to look like. And so that's why I ended up doing it afterwards. And that's my mistake. So just a good note for you guys to keep. So let me speed you through it so you can watch how it all just runs over. All right, so you notice I added some glitter instead and I added some more of the pink as everything was just running over. So this was just me trying to recover it because I realized that, I, I mean, there was no making it look even <laughs> when only one side was running over the edge. So I added the glitter and this turned out to be a great choice. It looks really cool on the finished product. So I'll, I can't wait to show you guys that part. And then look at the middle. That looks so cool with the confetti glitter and the rock now. Yeah, loving this. So this is pretty much what I do on this one. Um, and then I will add a second layer later. So we're going to jump to the art resin one though first, and then we'll come back to that. But before I do, I just want to note that I loved loved the stone coat. It had a very similar working time to the art resin, has a very similar cure time. Um, I touched them both, you know, and they were a little tacky still after a few hours and that's totally fine. So I like that it does give you a lot of flexibility for beginner painters. Um, so that's a huge deal. Huge. Same thing as art resin. They're both amazing. Um, art resin was a little bit runnier though. So you'll notice that with the purple one here in a little bit. but I am using the purple from Liquitex Basics. And again, just put it on the tip of the popsicle stick and mix it in. You're only using 10%, <laughs> one tenth of your mix. Okay, so mix everything together. Y'all know that part, so I'm gonna speed you through it.
All right, so sped you through it, starting this one off the exact same way as I started the other one, except I decided to just do circle instead of diamond, and they both ended up looking awesome. So white in the middle, run the purple around it, add your texture, push the texture in, <laughs> Same, same thing as the first one. Really, the experience was not different and I loved it. I thought it was a very comparable resin um, and it's cheaper because y'all can get that discount. So again, look in the description below to get the discount. Um, using the glove again to move, to mix that purple and the white together to get the same effect as I did on the red one. Adding the confetti glitter. I decided to add a little bit darker of a line of the color on the inside because it was really pretty and I thought it would stand out somewhere. And then I did some more dark purple on the edge. This time I did mix just a couple drops of black into the purple just to make it darker. And some more glitter. And then just notice how everything starts to move now at this point. It's all shifting to the right again, all moving. Oh, I hate it, <laughs> but I love it too. It looks awesome. So um, the way that this one had cured, you'll notice once I get over to day two, I added the texture on the edge, just like the other one. Um, this one, I think that dark purple on the middle, right around the marbles, ended up really bringing this one into a whole different field than the red one. But um, you'll notice though, the very next day, a lot of this, you can see the white that I was priming underneath. And so I'm just putting some glitter on the outside of the geode just to cover that and seal it all in. Okay. Okay, so here is day two. Look at all that white. You can see all that white underneath. This is the art resin one. So I'm just starting with the art resin, mixing up. I'm putting heavier glitter on there because I loved the look of the glitter. And then I'm mixing up my purple, pouring the purple around. That's all I did for day two, just to make it look sharper. And then same thing with the red. I put the glitter and then now I'm putting the, or pink <laughs> glitter and then the pink. Ones. And then the red one, I am gonna do a video later showing how big of a difference um, it looks when you add lines. Cause this one, I know it's too plain for me. And so I am actually gonna use lines, which I do not do often. So y'all will be able to see that and how I do that. And I learned some amazing tricks from the Mrs. Colorberry collaboration that I did with her. And I'm going to show you all how to do those. And, and then um, this is the final product. So look how fantastic they turned out. I love these ones. And that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to see y'all on my channel again in the future and then check below for that amazing discount because it is a huge savings and y'all, I highly recommend this resin. It was awesome, especially for a lot of you who are beginners just as I was and need the longer working time. So definitely check that out. All right, everyone. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. It's almost the weekend. Yay. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.